Hello everyone and welcome to this Cyber video tutorial designed to introduce you to our API that is included in the MarkMagic platform independent version. This API is used to make calls to MarkMagic in an existing program or application and this tutorial is going to be especially useful to programmers. The API can be used to perform a variety of functions within MMPI and whether you want to print, add a printer, generate flat file data, or upload and convert images to print on your format, you can use this web portal to test and prepare your command calls for use in your program. Today I'll be showing two specific examples. The first will be adding a printer, and then we will be printing to that new printer as well. To begin, log into your web portal and click on the help menu at the top of the screen. Then go ahead and select the MarkMagic PI REST APIs option. For our first exercise, we're going to be adding a printer, as I said, so click on the printer section here. We want the green post option, and to know which option you need to use, you can see a description of them on the far right. And for post, we can see that it says create slash add printer. Click here and you'll be able to see the notes on this command, as well as where you can input the values for the parameters available in this command. As the notes inform us, name, model, IP address, and queue are the mandatory parameters and must not be left blank or the command will return an error. To easily manage the formatting of the data here, you can click on the parameter list on the right side under model schema, and it will pre-fill the text box with all the parameters and the correct formatting that you're going to need. Now you'll only need to define the actual values for the parameters themselves. This information is specific to your printer, but as you can see, I've entered the values for my Sato printer already. And once you've filled out your data to the printer, go ahead and press the try it out button. If you receive a response code of 200 as I have, then you've successfully created your printer. Now that our printer is created, we can print to it using the API as well. Find and click on the print section and select the post print option. You can now fill out your print command using any of the possible parameters. And your required parameters are once again listed in the notes here. And those are USR LIB or user library, FMT DFT, which is the format definition or the name of the format, PRT DEV, the printer device that you want to print to, and file. Files are reference to the data that you're going to be passing to it. You can use star none, as I am in my example, and send the data in the command itself. Once you think you have your print command filled out, you can press try it out to see. Note that this will actually execute a print command and your printer should generate your label. You also get a response code of 200 when successful. That concludes this tutorial. Thank you for using MarkMagic.